Welcome, my viewers, to part 4 of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory on PS2. In the last part, Charlie finally got Augustus glue free from the chocolate pipe, although Chapter 3 is still not over yet somehow. Even though Charlie and the others are now heading to the inventing room, which should have, uh, well, that's where part or Chapter 4 takes place. But apparently, Chapter 4 just hasn't started yet. This is Storeroom 59, where I store some of my inventions from the inventing room that I don't have room for. Feel free to try your hand at working some of the machines yourself. Well, thank you, Wonka. I'd be happy to. Ooh, look at those. Pink sheep. And their wolf. Well, they're called cotton candy sheep, but... Their wool makes them look more like brains, if you ask me. They look more like brain sheep. Okay, so you can have the sheep follow Charlie. Just like what you do with the Oompa Loompas. And speaking of which, here's a new kind of Oompa Loompa which has a light bulb on its head. Come on. You need to use them to lure these butterflies over to a big light. Okay, I'll just have this next sheep follow me too. This is the light that you lure the butterflies into. Luminous lollies. Brilliant candies that glow in the dark. The secret is in the flies. My lantern attracts all sorts. But tell me, which would you prefer, butter or horse? Flies, that is. I vote butter. I mean, who doesn't like butterflies? Uh, oh wait. That was one butterfly that got into this light. And you gotta lure all of them into it. Are there two of them? No, there's there are several more of them. Not only do you have to lure these butterflies into this light, but you also gotta do something kind of weird with these cotton candy sheep. Okay, why didn't this butterfly follow the light? Come on, sheep, follow me. Okay, that butterfly just won't follow the Oompa Loompa for some reason. Cotton candy sheep. Of course, it's really wool candy, but don't tell them. They're very proud. We harvest it with shearing machines. So, this here is what you do with the cotton candy sheep. You order them to go into these machines. And it shorns them. That's right, you gotta shorn all these cotton candy sheep gotta keep harvesting all of their cotton candy wool. You gotta do that and lure all the butterflies into the big light in order to advance. So let's continue with the cotton candy wool harvesting. It seems kind of weird, wouldn't you think? Even though farmers do shorn real sheep in real life. Well, uh, I, I suppose it looks like the sheep enjoyed that. There's no need to keep showing these cinematics. Although you do still gotta wait for the animations to finish. I don't think you have to order an Oompa Loompa to have the butterfly follow. You just gotta get close to it. And hope it doesn't get stuck anywhere. Okay, now this butterfly is finally following the light. Just a little closer, and now to get the rest of them in. This way. And of course to shorten the rest of these cotton candy sheep. <laughs> Come here, butterflies. Another one disappears. Where are the sheep? Can you make it walk? Well, apparently these sheep are pretty slow. Much slower than Oompa Loompas. I think you may be able to lure multiple butterflies at once. There are also power-ups on this table that you see here. Come on. 
bingo. Although I think that was only one butterfly. Hmm. There's still more sheep to shorn. Where's the next one? What, did you get lost, little fella? Just stay with Charlie and my Oompa Loompa partner. Right there. Where's the sheep? Well, apparently it got stuck somewhere. Oompa Loompas have a tendency to get stuck in certain places as well. And I think that may be the last sheep. And now, to make this last butterfly disappear. Okay, I don't know what prompted this to happen. Probably from shorting all the sheep, but... Now let's just take care of this last butterfly. Oh, I, uh... Probably went too fast or something. It's not following us. Come on. That's better. That's it. Keep following. Make sure not to go too far this time. Not sure if that'll be all, though. If you want to revisit rooms where ingredients are found, you must find their great glass elevator buttons first. Uh, yeah, that's not exactly necessary, no! really. Anyone who's played this game knows that dying has no consequences anyway. Oh, wait. Uh, I don't think it's that door I need to go through. The only purpose for going up those platforms is to get those power-ups. But again, there's no need to. Hopefully now, Chapter 3 is finally done. And no, I'm not going to end the video after this, it's just way too soon. I'll include the end of Chapter 3 and the beginning of Chapter 4. Having rescued Augustus' group from the Chocolate River, and finally caught up to Mr. Wonka and the rest of the kids, Charlie found them faced with a peculiar dilemma. I would rather you didn't. I'm the world record holder in chewing gum. I'm not afraid of anything. For despite Mr. Wonka's protest, Violet had sampled one of his new inventions. A stick of gum that was a whole three-course dinner all by itself. It's amazing. Tomato soup. I can feel it running down my throat. It's changing. Roast beef, baked potato, with crispy skin and butter. I've tried it on 20 Oompa Loompas, and it always goes wrong when we come to the dessert. It's the blueberry pie that does it. She's swelling up. Ha, look at her go. I don't want a piece of that candy. Indeed, Violet was becoming rounder and more blue by the moment, and showed no sign of stopping. Mm, I don't feel so good. Seeing that Charlie had returned from rescuing Augustus Loop, Mr. Wonka thought nothing of asking him for another favor. We've got to squeeze the juice out of her immediately. This time, requesting that Charlie roll the foolish girl to the juicing room. Don't worry, we've had lots of practice with this. Where she could be restored to her former miserable state. Will Violet always be a blueberry? No, maybe. I don't know. But that's what you get from chewing gum all day. It's just disgusting. Yeah, not to mention Wonka hates gum, and yet he makes that stuff. So now, thanks to Violet Beauregard's cockiness, she's now become a big blueberry. In fact, in the movie, she became a giant blueberry. Like a humongous one. While in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, she became not so big. And in this game... Violet is the not-so-big blueberry. And it's about time Chapter 4 began. 
That girl must be taken to the juicing room before she can do any more damage. Work with my Oompa Loompas, and you should be able to rejoin the group in no time. Consider it done, Willy. And that right there is Violet. See that? She's definitely not the giant blueberry like in the movie. But at the very least, it makes Charlie's job to get her to the juicing room much easier. Oh yes, and these are new kinds of robotic enemies that you have to face. Just like with the Wonka bots, you can just keep throwing gobstoppers at them, although these ones move rather fast, so it's, it can be difficult to hit them. And they also drain a large chunk of Charlie's health, which is cheap. And thankfully, there is an easier way to kill these robots, whatever they're called. It's a spinner. Thousands of seconds are wasted each year just crossing the room to flip a switch. So I invented spinners. Just throw something at them, and they do the work. All right, then. I'll get around to that soon. Just gotta turn this... Okay, it's finally scrap metal. I also gotta find an Oompa Loompa now. Oh, yes, that's right. You gotta destroy that robot to make some appear. And there's a welder Oompa Loompa up on the upper platforms. Can you do it? Oh wow, the, these uh, Oompa Loompas in dark outfits, they blend in with the floor here. Even I can barely this see way. them. An electrician Oompa Loompa, highly skilled with things that buzz and zap. Only one Oompa Loompa in eight has what it takes to become an electrician. The other seven go home with frizzy hair. Yes, I bet. So you get an electrician Oompa Loompa to yeah, operate this. And I'm afraid you can't exactly push on Violet by yourself. You need to get the next candy gadget. Charlie is clearly too weak to push Violet since she's a, a rather heavy blueberry. But now I need to get up to those platforms so I can help these Oompa Loompas get up there. And thanks to this uh, I forget what this bouncing candy tower is called, but oh my god, I I keep over shooting them. I keep going over them. What the heck? All right, thank you. All you do is operate the spinner. This will make a ramp appear, and now the Oompa can follow you up. Oh no, those two look. Now they're unstuck. Let's make our way to that welder, Oompa Loompa. I definitely need its help. There you are. This way. Follow your leader. A flavor mixer. Mixing flavors is a very complicated process. It takes three Oompa Loompas to do it. Well, it's a good thing I have more than three of them. But I first better get the electrician to work on this. Can you make it work? And I think you have to leave these Oompa Loompas to work on these mixing machines. Can you make it work? Can you do it? Well, this one can. Now I need to get, I think, the welder Oompa Loompa to fix that, to make the steam go away. Welder, go to work. Splendid. If everything went well and it's the proper mix, we should have created the perfect piece of... rock candy. But not just any old rock candy. The sugar crystals in my rock candy can grow into a perfect sphere. Just give it a lick and toss it at your feet. You can roll around in it all day. These rock candies are what you need to get Violet to the juicing room. Something that can help you push her around. Like you gotta get her through that path. Rock candy power activate. You can also, well, therefore, they're like a, you can charge the rock candy to do some kind of bash attack. You use the X button to charge it. Or you could just simply roll around in the rock candy. It reminds me of The Incredibles the game with... 
Uh, it's like in The Incredibles, the game, where you play as Violet and Dash, where you're rolling around in Violet's force field. Yeah, that's right. Violet from The Incredibles, and also Violet from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And in the next room, you gotta destroy more of these rolling robots. And now they'll be much easier to take care of, thanks to the rock candy. However, using the rock candy, it uses up your candy power meter. But thankfully, these robots are quite an easy source of candy power power-ups. Oh, and you don't have to charge at the robots, you can just simply touch them, well, whenever the game feels like registering that you're touching them. And that should also damage the robots. Oh, I missed somehow. I was trying to aim for real straight. That's better. Okay, so there were only two of those, and now the Oompa Loompas are here. And I gotta make my way up to another welder. I might as well just go up there right now and get the ramp down before I have the Oompa Loompas follow me. There may be more than one spinner in this room. Don't forget that you can hold down square to make a targeting reticle appear, so you can easily aim your gobstoppers at the spinners. Over here. Okay, where are the others? That's a roller bot. They just position themselves over those divots and roll away. Of course, anything that rolls will do. Well, there's really no need to make any more of those spawn right now. Three-course dinner chewing gum. It's delicious, but I wouldn't chew it if I were you. It still needs some testing, but fortunately, Oompa Loompas will test anything. I'm certain that they Come would. On. But it says right there the Over machine there. needs to be fixed. Come on. Isn't there a fourth Oompa Loompa down on this floor? If it is, I certainly can't see it. Oh, let's just go up there now. Right there. There's the welder. This way. Let's see what this here does. So I gotta get the welder to fix that. More rainbow steam. Fantastic. This platform right here can rotate. Can you do it? Get working, welder. No need to get burned by colored steam. Oh, no, they... Oh, God, they all fell down. Huh? Yep, that can actually happen whenever you play this game. They can even end up falling off some moving platforms that you're riding on. Skipping, I have more than one electrician with me. Okay, so everyone's done here. My god, the, this camera just. The game's camera keeps shaking around like crazy. I always feel like that I'm about Wonderful. to fall off the platform. You fix the great gum machine. Hopefully, that means we won't have any Oompa Loompas turning into blueberries anymore. Still might need some testing. Yes, and I'm afraid I'm gonna need some of these Oompa Loompas to become blueberries like Violet. <laughs> so 
so you now need to get the Oompa Loompas to test out the free course dinner gun. Can you do it? I, okay, so, yeah, you see this one turns into a blueberry, and you need two of them to operate these. After that, the door over there should open. Or, oh no, it, it rotates the platform. Okay, well. Hopefully these two electricians are all I need. I no longer have the welder with me. I take it this will have the door open. Excellent. Time to finally move Violet along now. No. Okay, so somehow I can't roll off the platform in the rock candy. Nor can you jump while in the rock candy. Sorry, I have to do this again, Violet. But it's for the sake of turning you back to normal. Oh, come on, get in! Or don't. In you go. Look at Violet and Charlie roll. Boy, did Violet go fast or what? And guess what? In the next room, you take on even more rolling robots. And there are even more spinners. Many of which you gotta... get the glass to raise to actually hit them. Come on, you robo-rollers. One down. There may be three of them. Or at least three. I'm touching you. That's another one out. And I was right, there were three. I don't need that Wonka bite, but I do need to refill my candy power meter. Over here. So wait, are these the only two Oompa Loompas in this room? Let's just say that it is. So once again, it's back to getting up to those platforms to get the Oompa Loompas up here. Oh, don't, don't get stuck. Up here, you two. And of course, there's another rolling platform. You got a not rolling, rotating platform. Can you do it? So that just makes more steam appear. Oh, oh, wow! I was right at the steam. Can you do it? Of course, the welder can do it. It knows what it's doing. Oh boy, even more steam. So what did this do? I don't know, but it doesn't matter. Can you do it?
Okay, so now I can use the second spinner. I think it causes the platform right here to rotate. Come on, aim at it. I can't get Charlie to aim at it. Oh my god. There it goes. And thankfully, the Oompa Loompas are still with me. Can you do it? Oh, and uh, I think the platform just rotated back, but the camera won't, won't let me turn it around. Well, there's that third spinner. I think this platform just simply moves. Doesn't rotate. And you better hope the Oompa Loompas don't slip off it. Or rather, glitch through it. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Well, now that I know there's nothing there for them to interact with, I won't go back to that area. Now come on, you two, just stay with Charlie. Well, now I gotta put up with this crap again, where- oh, there we go. Oh wait, where's that- I think I gotta hit that third spinner again. I'm trying to ro turn Charlie around without having him fall off the platform. Oh my god! Wow, I really hate that. Okay, thank you. Right there. Finally, uh, I can get the electrician to work on this. Great. Finally done with this room. Oh, oh, no. These things are back. trying to stop me from getting Violet out of here. I'm not even going to try to move Violet until they're out of the way. there. Maybe I can get her through from here? Alright. We should almost be at the juicing room. Keep moving, Blueberry Girl. Oh, no. Another one of these. Well, now this time, both the Oompa I need are up on those platforms. In fact, I'm not even sure if you have to destroy these robots again. I'm gonna interact with the spinner first. If I can get Charlie to aim at it.
And I just realized that I'm pretty much out of candy power. Although I think the meter, it slowly refills itself. Come on. Come on. Okay, so... What can I have these two interact with? Okay, the electrician is needed for both these things. So, of course, that causes even more steam. Alright, I get it. There's steam everywhere. Can you do it? And now I can use that spinner. Can you make it work? Good thing the welder and Baluba can't be harmed by the steam. Can you make it work? What you gotta do next, get this platform over here. Have Charlie and the Oompa Loompas ride it. Oh wait, there's still this. Right there. If the camera would just rotate already, thank you. You gotta ride this platform again and hope the Oompa Loompas don't fall off it. <laughs> Good. Can you do it? Is the door open yet? Great. But I think I still gotta put up with those rolling robots. Crap. Leave that blueberry alone. She's mine for juicing. Uh, oh god, uh, nearly uh, rolled Violet right up to that ramp. Crap, oh! Go away, robots! Just keep throwing gobstoppers at this one. I need power ups anyway. And I don't think you can collect the power ups while inside the rock candy. I knew you could do it, never had a doubt. Except for the part with the pipes and the spinners and that one Oompa Loompa. Did you get his name? Anyways, hurry along. Violet isn't getting any smaller. So that should finally be it for this room, which means it's on to the juicing room. And then after the juicing room, that may be the end of chapter 4. Hang in there, Violet. Your savior is on the way. And hopefully you'll finally regret calling Charlie a loser in the movie. Come on, saving. No need to take so long. I'm pretty sure that it's uh, Chapter 4 is not done yet. It should be over after you save Violet. Here we are in the juicing room. Juicing room. It's gotten a lot of use lately. There's an extra strength juicer below that requires Oompa Loompas to operate it. And little juicers here for the unfortunate Oompa Loompa testers. Yeah, well, before I handle them, I gotta take out even more of those annoying rolling robots. 
They're definitely a lot more annoying than the standard Wonka bots. It's a juicer. Great for squeezing fresh fruits, vegetables, anything juicy, really. At first, the Oompa Loompas used them expressly for caterpillars, but I'm sure they've cleaned them by now. Yeah, I hope they did. Oh yes, and I just wanted to mention, the second time when I played through this part of the game, I ended up running into a glitch, or rolling into a glitch, where in the final part of the juicing room, I was trying to destroy these rolling robots using the rock candy, and I ended up charging at one of them that were close to the exit of the level. And then I ended up glitching right through the exit, and the game registered that I completed the level, even though I didn't even finish the final objective. I, I, I somehow managed to finish the level without de-juicing Violet, and it was so weird, and I never never thought you can end up glitching this through way. the final door, this way. but really, it, it actually happened. And who knows whether or not I could actually make it happen again on camera. Can you make it walk? That depends on whether or not I, ex I end up accidentally charging into a rolling robot that's close to the exit. So those juicers, it just de-juiced that Oompa Loompa, and apparently Violet's too big for these. Obviously she needs the big juicer. Come on. This way. Okay, I get it. Another Oompa Loompa's de-juiced. Now I think now you need to get the dejuiced Oopaloopas to operate Can you these. Make you walk? Well, the electrician anyway. Is there another one around here? Well, maybe not. You now need to. Use the rock candy to launch Violet into either of those two paths over there. And this time, I think you do need to charge at her. Although, there are many times where even though I hit her, she just won't roll over to where I need her to be. Oh my god. Go back, Charlie. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure that you do need to charge at her. Oh, she was up there. Almost up there. I don't even know what position you have to be in. Like, do you have to be far from Violet or close to her? Oh, finally. Okay, on to the second part of the juicing room. Or, I'm already there. Am I? Okay, I'm guessing somehow Violet didn't go to the next room, even though the game showed I did. Oh my god. Okay, so I finally got her up there. Now just go through here. Jesus Christ. I need to refill my candy power meter. That's it. Finally go through and to the next room. Oh my. Keep going. 
Come on. And... Okay, she's finally in. I gotta get more power-ups again. Oh. Oh, dear. I really hate these rolling robots. And I hope you people do, too. Those of you who played this game. And of course, you've got to dejuice even more Oompa Loompas. And somehow I can't hit this last robot. Okay, is it finally defeated? Okay, uh, Blueberry Oompa Loompas, keep... Just follow Charlie so you can be more useful. Right there. Can you do it? Okay, so all you had to do was dejuice the Oompa Loompas to have Violet fall down there. Now, I think this here may be the final part of the juicing room, which is where I mentioned that glitch that I experienced happened. The one where I glitched through the exit. I think that right there may be the exit, but I'm not so sure. Oh, come on, get off me! Or is that right there the exit? Well, I think that is. Can I really make the glitch happen again? I'm pretty sure all I did was accidentally charge right at the door trying to destroy a robot, but, well, it's not working right now. But I swear to you, that glitch really happened. It, it, it wouldn't even matter if I could if I get it to work anyway, because I, I really should just show up how to do this properly. Uh, so, is that all the robots? Well, I'm not so sure. If I... Am I supposed to roll Violet over to the left or right side? Okay, I missed her somehow. I, I... I don't exactly know here. Oh, uh, okay, so I had to roll her over to the right side. Amazing that such a little girl could hold so much juice. She'll still be blue, albeit more pressed than depressed, but that's the least of her problems. <laughs> Hurry, everyone's waiting in the nut room. Okay, so I hope that maybe Chapter 4 is done. Violet is saved after all, despite the fact that she's still blue. It's kind of a shame that I didn't get the instant finish level glitch to happen again, but it was still better off to just show the rest of the level properly. Having delivered the now fully juiced Violet Beauregard, Charlie rejoined the others just in time to tour Mr. Wonka's fantastic nut room. Oompa Loompas can't get walnuts out of their shells in one piece. Working feverishly among the gravity-fed pipes and chutes were neither Oompa Loompas nor Wonka Bots. Nobody can get whole walnuts out every time, except squirrels. 
We better to sort good nuts from bad. Now, Baruka Salt had many pets, but she did not have his squirrel. All I've got at home is two dogs, and four cats, and six rabbits, and three canaries, and a green parrot, and a turtle, and a bowl of goldfish, and a silly old hamster. Give me a squirrel. I want a squirrel. They're not for sale. And when she decided to grab one and take it home... Little girl, I wouldn't. The squirrels were not amused. In fact, they seemed most upset by it. Leaping on top of her, they knocked Baruka to the ground, rapping furiously on her head with a tiny knuckle. What are they doing? They're testing to see if she's a bad nut. I wonder. Satisfied that she was most certainly not a good nut, the squirrels dragged Baruka away. Where are they taking her? Where all the other bad nuts go, down the garbage chute. This time, Charlie knew what Mr. Wonka was going to ask him even before he said it. So he set out straight away to retrieve the greedy girl. And the group, what was left of it, continued on without him. Great, so this is indeed the beginning of Chapter 5. As you just saw, Baruka Sal just got herself into a pretty nutty situation. But you'll have to wait until the next part of the playthrough to see that. For the love of God, you see all the walnuts? There's gotta be more than trillions of those. Ah, my squirrels! What must they be thinking? As for that spoiled girl, lucky for her they only use the incinerator on Tuesdays. Wait, what's today? It is Tuesday, is it? Okay, so that's it for part 4 of my Charlie and the Chocolate Factory playthrough. Okay, uh, thank you. Well, thank you all for watching, and I shall see you all later in part and chapter 5. Bye, everyone.